Hey guys, the six and a half inch Legacy Metallic Mighty Morphin figures with weapons are now in stores. A lot of people are finding them at Walgreens. I found these in Warrington, Pennsylvania. Once again, I'll give you the barcodes. Here is Red Ranger. Here is Blue Ranger. Here is Black Ranger. Here is Pink Ranger. And here is Yellow Ranger. I reviewed these and gave you guys all the info all the way back in June. Everybody on Facebook seems to have missed the video. So once again, here's the review. Hey guys, new Legacy Metallic figures with weapons. Let's go over them. Six and a half inch Legacy figures with weapons. These are metallic, these are new. Black Ranger comes with the Power Axe, Blade Blaster and Holster, White Belt, Black Bolts and the Morpher, correct Power Coin. Pink Ranger comes with her Power Bow and an Arrow, Blade Blaster and Holster, White Belt, Morpher with Black Bolts, correct Power Coin. She also comes with one hand to hold the arrow. Total of three hands. Blue Ranger comes with his Power Lance. It's connected, it's one solid piece. Blade Blaster and Holster, White Belt, Black Bolts and the Morpher, correct Power Coin. Yellow Ranger comes with two power daggers. Blade Blaster and Holster. White Belt. Black Bolts on the Morpher. Correct Power Coin. Red Ranger comes with the Power Sword. His Holster and Blade Blaster. White Belt. Black Bolts on the Morpher. Correct Coin. Fully Painted Weapons. Power Sword looks very nice. It is fully painted on both sides. Very shiny paint. The red is actually translucent, but I didn't notice until I held it up to the light. All five have the same Blade Blaster as before. Power Bow is painted on both sides. The shiny silver arrow also has pink on the tip. Power Lance is also translucent, painted on both sides. No, this is not stiff plastic. You can mend these. No, this does not separate. Fully painted Power Daggers. The yellow is translucent. Actually, now I'm not sure. I think it is. Power Axe is painted on both sides, and the black is also translucent. Having seen Kimberly's very thin power bow and Billy's connected power lance, can these combine to the power blaster? The answer is of course no. It actually will let you kind of wedge that in there like that, but that's about as much as you're going to be able to do. I know some people are going to be upset about the lack of power blaster, whereas other people are going to be really happy that Billy finally got a really long power lance that is connected. I think as far as the shiny finish goes, Billy's probably my favorite. Really, really, really pretty blue. The rest of them are nice too. I think Billy is just the nicest. Trini might come in second. I've actually got a trivia question that I'm not sure I know the answer to. Name the first episode that Adam, not Zack, fought with the power axe. And I'm not counting like Japanese stock footage where they just assemble the power blaster and you don't see the weapons before that. Like when was the last time they were like actually out in battle with the weapons? All right, in the comments, first power axe battle, Adam, not Zack. Here's the Comic-Con exclusive Red Ranger figure. Are they the same figure? Yeah, they are. I think these are pretty much identical. Here are the two Red Rangers together. This is, of course, the first release. This is the metallic. Here are the Yellow Rangers. Here are the two Blue Rangers. Here are the two Pink Rangers. I painted the belt on my old one. It didn't come that way. And finally, here are the two Black Rangers. I can totally see people being annoyed by this release. I know people just wanted the weapons, and now you have to buy five more figures. And then, in addition, the weapons don't combine. But Having said that, I think a lot of people that are fans of Mighty Morphin and this line, once you have them, I think you're really going to like them because they are very pretty and they do have the weapons. The metallic shininess is actually really nice. They'll look nice on a shelf, especially like one of those glass Ikea display cases with the LEDs in there, like that'll look really nice. From the non-metallic release, Jason is the only one of the five that's like the way he should be. He's got the white belt, black belts on the morpher. Billy, Kimberly, and Zack had gray belts. That was an error. They were supposed to be white, but they came out gray. And everyone but Jason is missing the black belts on the morpher. For this new wave with the metallic figures, all five are all correct. Everything is the way it's supposed to be. So the word on the street is, these guys might be hard to find. They are limited edition. I know the set is certainly not for everybody, but if you think you want it and you see them, definitely grab them because you don't want to be trying to get them later. I think a lot of you guys already know the deal with that. Also, did Bandai forget about the rest of Ninja Storm and Silver in Space? The answer is of course no. Not everything comes out all at once. Look at how many people are still looking for Legacy Megazord after it's been reissued twice already, or at least once and then one reissue. So people are looking for a third release already since 2013. If everything was released all at once, just think of how many more things you guys would all be missing. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. If you haven't, I will always be back soon with many good videos and good night.